What's going on guys? Hey, whether your fantasy draft is already done or it's getting ready to happen, here's a list of some middle infielders that can get you into the 2018 fantasy playoffs. Hey, what's going on everybody? Jake Fancy Headliners coming to you today with some middle infielders. We got five guys that you can get in the later rounds or that maybe didn't even get drafted that you could possibly use and get all the way to the playoffs. Uh, you know how we do it over here. We like to be bold. I'm not going to give you all the same names at the top of the, the rankings that everybody else gives you. I'm going to give you some guys that uh, either people are going to try to pass on, may not even get drafted, but you know what? Key breakout candidates for us here 2018. Uh, first one we're going to start off with is Trevor Story, shortstop for the Colorado Rockies. Uh, right now his ADP is right around 105. 105. Now, yes, a lot of you guys are going to say, hey, I had Trevor Story last year. Dude struck out a ton. And he did. And he probably will again. But beggars can't be choosers, okay? When you get to this point of the, of the draft uh, on your roster, you're looking for as much production as you can possibly get. Trevor Story had 24 home runs, 82 RBIs last year. That's pretty good for somebody with an ADP of 105. Yeah, he's probably going to get the strikeout still, but he plays in Coors. He's been killing it in spring training, batting over 400. And sometimes you can live with those strikeouts. People still draft Aaron Judge real early. Dude strikes out a ton. Like I said, he plays at Coors Field in a stacked lineup. Trevor Story is definitely somebody you can get in the late rounds that you can start. Number two, D.D. Gregorius. Yes, kind of sounds like a notorious B.I.G. song, but you know what? Dude can ball. He's kind of a late bloomer, didn't produce much earlier in his career, and then all of a sudden came along last year, and it's no fluke. Dude's a left-handed batter, playing on a short porch at Yankee Stadium for half of his games. Of course his home run numbers jumped. He had uh, over 20 home runs, batted over 275. Going to do the same thing this year. The lineup got even more stacked more stacked with the uh, inclusion of Giancarlo Stanton, another 50 homers. This team is going to be an offensive machine. Okay, they're going to score runs. He's going to still bet left-handed. That's not going to change. That short porch in New York, it's going to get a workout. Dede Gregorius, somebody you can get late, ADP of 107. You can start him. Number three, DJ LeMahieu. I don't know how you say it. It sounds right. DJ LeMahieu. Uh, he's the uh, second baseman, I think. Second baseman, shortstop, wherever they want to put him. Dude can hit of the Colorado Rockies. Right now, ADP right around 110. Last year, did he get a lot of homers? Mm, no. About eight homers, 64 RBIs, but batted over 310. Batted over 300 for the last three seasons straight. Gets close to 600 at-bats a year. Consistently hovers right around the 200 hits per year mark. He's consistent, and with a, an ADP of 110, somebody you can get in the 8th to 10th round, that's a huge you know, person to plug in the middle of your lineup that you can just count on consistent production. Is he going to go out and hit 30 homers? No, but there's a lot of other people in that lineup that will, and he'll benefit from it. DJ LeMahieu, somebody you can count on. Number four, Ian Happ. Ian Happ of the Chicago Cubs. Right now he's got second base and outfield eligibility, which is a plus. Uh, you got him playing behind the likes of Addison Russell and Javier Baez, who are inconsistent and hurt consistently. Consistently inconsistent. We're going to go with that. Uh, he had 24 homers last year, 68 RBIs, batted only 253. Uh, but he's young. I mean, he hasn't had a whole lot of experience. We expect these numbers to slowly and slowly increase. Uh, right now in spring training, he's already batting 340 with five homers. Uh, if he can keep that pace up and all he needs to do is improve a little bit, you're looking at a guy with an ADP of 138 that could hit you 20 to 30 home runs and give you eligibility infield and outfield. Ian Happ is a good late round pick. Number five, Paul DeJong of the St. Louis Cardinals. He can play both middle infield positions, second base or shortstop. You get dual eligibility. His ADP right now, 
149. Are you kidding me? Dude had 25 home runs last year, only 65 RBIs, but batted 285. He's going to be a key piece in the Cardinals lineup that is stacked now with Marcelo Zuna and a bunch of guys who can hit the ball. Not a lot of big hitters, but a lot of consistent hitters. He's a startable asset you can get real late in drafts. If you want to hold off on that position, stack at your lineup somewhere else. He plays in a lineup with plenty of pop. They're going to score plenty of runs. Paul DeJong is a starter you can grab at shortstop way late. All right, guys, that's my 2018 middle infielder breakouts, if you want to call them, late round breakouts. Uh, these guys can get you a lot of points here at the, uh, the end of your drafts or off your waiver wire. Make sure you're taking a look for them. If there's somebody else out there you have a question about, hit me up. I'll be glad to answer your questions. Make sure you're liking, commenting, and subscribing. I appreciate the support, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.